Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm here today with my girl Khadija. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa oh, alaikum salam. And Khadija, what are we going to talk about today? Today we're talking about long distance relationships. The Ooh. pros, the cons, okay. <laughs> what work, what doesn't. So kick it off, Amina. Right, so we've talked about um, we've talked about online dating and uh, one thing you can get from online dating, as we said before, is you might find someone from another side of the world, for example. Mm -hmm. And online dating doesn't, doesn't just apply to the apps, you know, it could be like the, the, the dating apps. It could be someone you met online, maybe on Facebook, on Instagram. I don't know, maybe yeah. someone was giving you a number on WhatsApp. I mean, you're still talking online, you've not met in real life. So what happens, you know, um, when you are in that situation, when you are in a relationship where you are, the person you're talking to, your boyfriend, your partner is in another country, or when you are in a marriage and your husband is in another country, because that also happens a lot nowadays, you know, in our society. Mm -hmm. You know, we have so yeah. many people, especially in Kenya, you have so many people that are like married by people from the UK or people from yeah. America or they get married and then the husband has to go to Saudi or Dubai to work and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of that going on and people end up being in um, long distance uh, marriages and stuff. So, yeah. So today we're going to talk about the pros and the cons. Hadija, uh, maybe a little advice <laughs> on what you should consider. Yeah. Before you know, getting into that kind of a relationship. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are the pros? Can you think of any? Um, it's a hard one. Yeah. <laughs> all, all I can think about, honestly, all I can think of is the, you know, but I could say um, it could build trust like between you two the trust could be stronger because you're so far from each other and you're for i mean it could have the negative effect as well yeah. there could be no trust but yeah it could build a trust and um a stronger relationship between the two of you mm. because you're so far from each other you know so like i mean it could it could be negative as well i mean <laughs> it could work both ways. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to think of a positive, no lies. But it's hard to think of a positive. With it, that it, said, it, it works for some people. It doesn't work for everyone, but there's some people that this works for them or they make it work. You know. So yeah. just like any other relationship, you make it work, we make what you have work for you guys. So I feel like we have a lot more negatives about this than any positives. But remember yeah, the negatives... we both experienced it and we both know what yeah. it's like, you know. There's, there's a lot like potential jealousy, yeah, yeah, from either person. You can drift apart, you know, which is, you know. That I think... Get, like like so, I said before, okay. your relationship could get stronger, like potentially yeah i i was gonna say like so we, we went on live earlier and uh people were saying you know communication is gonna be a problem but I, we were saying that that's not even just something for a long distance relationship that applies for you know any other relationship communication is key and i mean if you don't communicate well between you two whether it's a long distance one or whether you guys are there in the same house it's just not gonna yeah. work you know this is something that applies to all relationships in general and in yeah, terms of like the trust that you mentioned um is i i don't see in like i don't know how it's gonna build up the trust but i feel like you have to be trusting the other person for you to be in that kind of a relationship so if you're thinking of going into something like that you need to be someone that can be trusted and the other person needs to be someone that can be trusted and you all need to trust each other to make it work but if you have doubts about what the other person is doing who the other person is talking to getting that jealousy that you mentioned as well you know that's why like so many things if there's no trust it just causes so many things you know going wrong yeah, yeah. i feel like um 
feel like um, from the very big beginning, you should set like clear expectations, you know, for the long distance marriage. Like, what do you expect out of it? Like, yeah. how long is it gonna, you know, take? Um, what you don't, what you don't like, what you do like. Um, of course, time for each other. Like, we can't be talking on the phone the whole day. I'm sorry, you no. Know? You know, yeah, yeah, so you yeah. have to set, you know, a time, a specific time. You know, this is this is the time I'll give you. We'll, we'll talk. I mean, you could be texting throughout the day, like, you know, mm. but um, like sitting down and actually like video call or whatever, you know, have yeah. a specific time for that, rather than like the whole day long, you know. Mm. I have a positive. I have a positive that I was talking about earlier. So here's the thing, um, so many people want to get married, right? And when someone gets married, it doesn't mean that person is necessarily, necessarily ready to have the other person in the same house with or in the same space with. So yeah. people can get married, but maybe there's like a lot that's going on on each side during that particular moment that everyone needs to work yeah. on those things on their own. But as Hadija said, you know, you need to know like how long this long distance thing is gonna go on for. But at the end of the day, the goal is to be together. You know, yes, you are getting married to be together, but sometimes circumstances and how also people are in life at that particular moment, they may not be ready to. You know, this is yeah. completely two different people, two different personalities. People are, are brought up differently. You know, the other person, one of them might be like, I'm not ready to literally have you in the same space as I am. And yeah. I know that sounds selfish to someone or to some other people. But um, the truth is, there's so many people in that situation where they were just literally got married. And of course, it's, it's like culture. It's like a normal thing to be, to be living together and stuff like that. But then the other yeah. person immediately starts feeling like, anxious or they can't breathe they're suffocating like they, they're not used to this they don't know how to adjust and all that kind of stuff so there are things as a person maybe you might want to work on and the other person might want to work on and you'll come to an understanding like you know once we get this thing sorted like oh i want to work on something and be better at something before i add someone else into the same space as i am you know like there's things like that yeah. i know like yeah. the, uh, talking out loud it sounds a bit selfish but it's it's something it's not, it's that's not, it's not so big. necessary, you know. It, it makes sense. It's like yeah. when you want to have a kid, you know, yeah. like when you want to have a child. Not everyone, okay. People want some people want kids, but some people may not be ready mentally to have kids, you know. And it's something they need to work on. It doesn't mean they don't want kids completely. It's just that they have to be at the right mind space to them ha to have that child in their life at that particular moment. You know, that that's okay. that's my I'm... only um, positive. Like it does give each other space to work on their things um, before they do eventually live together as a unit. You know. Adding to that, um, I feel like when you have that space, yeah. You get to know the person a bit better as well before they move into your house. So you know their little habits and stuff. Yeah. You know? So which is also good. So when they finally do move in, okay, you're aware of this and that, you know? Yeah. So True. It, it could be a good thing. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know you what you might be talking and everything and you know, with time you get to know someone if you all are not whether you're staying in the same house or not. You cannot know someone completely, of course, but you will know someone to a certain extent to know, like, okay, maybe this person prefers something like this, and, you know, and at the end of the day, it's up to you whether you want to compromise on that or whether you don't. It's really up to you. I'm not saying that's just because someone else says, you know, I like yeah. it when you do this and that and that, and when the house, okay. Maybe, for example, I like it when you put wood in the house, and maybe that's something you don't, <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, I don't like wood in the house. <laughs> that's not true. That's not <laughs> true. I do like wood in the house, but certain type of wood, like, it's very specific. Okay, that's a whole different topic. <laughs> that's a whole other topic. But, yeah, I mean, I know it might sound like small, small things, but it's also small, small things that make or break relationships, you know, like... 
some there's people who are picky about certain things you know so yeah. yeah but you do get to know the person there's like maybe you don't want i know this is gonna sound stupid maybe you don't want like you know somebody in the bathroom um like someone in the toilet when you're using the toilet that's another thing you know like if you, you, yeah. you maybe say, okay, maybe I'm going to try and work on being comfortable with that. Or you might have your own insecurities as well. So, yeah. It's good to, to know that in the process before you decide to, like, oh, I did like, ah. <laughs> <sighs> A lot could happen. It could, have, it could be an eye-opener. Uh, you guys could drift apart or you, you guys could get, you know, even more stronger when, yeah. you know when you're apart from each other or whatever um but an important thing is not to listen to other people's opinions um because end of the day they're not part of your situation they don't know anything yeah. um you shouldn't be listening to people because it could potentially ruin what you have with your partner so true yeah, that's, I think that's the point that's what I was trying to bring up in the live. She said, Umbea, I was like, Umbea, how? You know, she said, like, listening to other people. Because you're far from each other, you know, you will hear things about your other person. Oh, this, yeah, one, this yeah. one did this. Oh, or you go speak to someone about your person. I think like, that also comes under trust as well. Yeah, it does. if you don't have that trust, when someone comes and does the he say, she say. That's when it's will, like, you know. Yeah. yeah, but if you trust your yeah. person, no matter what someone comes and say, you'll be like, yeah, okay. But you could, you, you know, you can like easily ignore it. But if you have doubts and you have trust issues, you're like, oh yeah, this person is definitely doing this. It could be, oh, I saw your husband or your, your partner yeah. with this and this person. They were there, they're there. And, you know, you trust the person or maybe you even know like, okay, at that time I was talking to that person. So what, what's this person all about? You know, like you can, you need to learn how to ignore such things as well. Um, if you trust each other. Um, what else? <laughs> I have another negative. negative. When you finally, finally come together, you might not like it because you're so used to like your own spaces now, and then now you're in this <laughs> bubble together like all the time, uh. and things might not be what you were expecting them to be, and you not you know you might not like them. Uh. <laughs> I know, but here's the thing. I'm thinking about it now. It's like. This actually applies to so many people, whether they were in a long distance relationship or not, because like before they got married, because when you meet someone to get married to, you're most likely, especially for my girls, you're most likely you haven't lived with that person before. So you may have just only talked. And then that's when it's like you get into, uh, you get married and you move in together immediately. And it's like, it's, it's a whole different thing when you're living with that person. So that's what I was saying, like the positive of it is that you at least, okay, as I said, you can't get to know someone completely, but at least you get to know certain aspects of the person before you completely decide like we're going to move in together. Then at that point, both of you guys are like mentally ready. You've talked about several things, how you want things that you could say like, yeah, we could talk about this before we get married as well, but you might yeah. still not be ready. You might still not be ready. It's true, it's true. It's true. You know. um, but you can also maybe this is a positive um, how you two work under stress like within your like uh, with your marriage so like it could I don't know where am I going with this <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know as well <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I like to know you know, you know the, 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 the marriage has stress right yeah so it could like show like how you guys work work if you work well together under stress or not if you're far from each other you know yeah. you'll know okay our marriage will work under stress because we've done it when we were far from each other like you know mm. right am i making sense you are making sense oh, but i think sense. that applies to like all relationships you know like to know at the end of the day we've said this before in our previous videos you need to know that you're working together as a team when you get married it's not like you're fighting each other um so whatever comes 
in your marriage like whatever problem comes you fight it together whatever battles they are you fight it together as a team you're not fighting each other you know like you have to think of things that way then it's easier to like manage them but if it's like outside effects that have you know outside things that have effects on you you know like the stresses yeah. you out is challenging or whatever um of course it, i think it's like a good idea to have that person close to you to like you know calm you down to talk to you you know it's, it's not the same on the phone it's like it's, it's you don't get that reassurance yeah. through the phone yeah. as much as if the person was there with you you know even the hormones they be they be working <laughs> the hormones they yeah. work and was it ox oxytocin or something like that and you know it's like they, they give you the good vibes the good feeling and stuff which cannot be passed through the phone you know um <laughs> just make me, you just make me think of another negative <laughs> oh okay go ahead go ahead go ahead lack of intimacy true especially if you're a person that loves or prefers physical intimacy physical intimacy is your love language it's your main love language it's like it's a problem it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard <laughs> be prepared for the ride if you're thinking of a whole long distance relationship and um yeah i feel like sometimes that's the main reason why actually people get married in the first place you know because they wanna be physically intimate but without doing anything that's like haram you know so they're like okay let's get married but y'all don't think well not y'all but most of people don't actually think about other things of living with someone besides just that benefit you know but um if you can survive the whole physical intimacy thing being far from each other then of course when you're together hopefully it's you're gonna enjoy it or you're gonna be happy <laughs> and not um, not find it weird because it's like you're so used to being apart that when yeah. you're together it's like it's not the same and it's like I mean like like you said it is your love language it's your love language isn't it so yeah. it's not really gonna be a problem no um, but if it's your love like, language and you're far from your person then it's a well, problem it's gonna be a problem when you're far from each other but yeah the, yeah. the the main things to actually like just be a, to make it work basically is communication trust trust words those are the main thing i can only think of and they do apply to every relationship but those are the main things i can only think of you know and i also have 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 a plan on how you know like I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it to be a permanent kind of thing, the whole long distance relationship thing. So yeah. have a plan to like be able to, know exactly to come. When you guys are gonna be back. Yeah, when you're Maybe. gonna be actually together at some point, have that kind of plan and hope as well and work towards it too. You know, it's not easy. It's quite challenging. Um, I wanted to say something earlier. You know, another thing. Um, I've seen happening is a lot of people you know splitting up because it's like let's say when someone moves abroad you know and then it's like let's say you got married and then your husband gets a job somewhere else and then your husband or wife anyone gets a job somewhere else and then they travel and then what is it you stay back for example right so the other person will be exposed to so many things you know like in yeah. their lives and then they they will have to adjust and adapt and grow with the environment they're in and it could be a very yeah. fast-paced environment meanwhile you're on the other side your daily life routine is the same every single time your mind is also yeah. not growing mentally you know um not i'm not saying everyone is like that but i'm just saying most people you know they're just used to their daily life they don't really challenge themselves or anything they're okay uh, uh, my husband is gonna send money at the end of the month you know for me to pay my rent whatever whatever and life just goes on but meanwhile the other person yeah. goes out there and hustling and seeing life as it is and you know growing in so many different ways they're like they feel like you're bringing them down 
first of all. Yeah, yeah. You know, they feel like, okay, this person is not trying to grow with me. So if you're in that position, like, think about the other person, how many things they, they are exposed to. And, you know, try to grow with them as a person as well. You do your own things, but grow mentally as well. So that, you know, like, and then work towards the same goals, each of you. But if this person is the only person that's working towards goals for the two of you, meanwhile you're not bothered in making an effort, it's not going to work. So at the end of the day, you need to remember, teamwork makes the dream work. So you each have to grow in no matter what relationship you're in. You know, it could be a normal kind of relationship you're with your person there. But if you're also not growing as a person, then yeah. it's going to bring problems. Yeah. Mm. So can we summarize I this? To, because I don't have anything to add to that, but I do have one more thing. Okay. Um, what's it called? Overlooking potential problems when you're in a long, wrong, eh? wrong, long, long distance, distance relationships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So overlooking the potential problems that you know could happen in your marriage because they're so far from you, you don't think nothing of it. You just leave it. Ah. You know, whatever. Yeah. But then when you finally come together, it could be like a big problem. You know, yeah. ignoring the small, small red flags because we're not with each other. <gasps> but those so red flags be everywhere together. as well, right? Yeah. The red flags. <laughs> when you finally come together because you've ignored them for so long. Yeah. The other person doesn't even know it's something wrong because you've been ignoring them. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. True. I hope you got and, the point. And that's right. my final take of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. anyway guys this was an impromptu video we were not well prepared but we did say some things <laughs> hopefully you would consider to the things your big sister said and hopefully you did find it useful um thank you guys once again for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment anything that you think we've forgotten to say probably there's a lot of things we've forgotten to I mention think there's a lot of things yeah <laughs> There's a lot of things we forgot to mention. Please let us know and, you know, we will talk about it if we have to make another video regarding this, regarding all your comments yeah. as well. We will because we had to put something out there today because it's Wednesday. Today's the day we normally do these videos for you guys. <laughs> this is a topic that came last minute. But we just... But we really, do hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and we hope so. Just, you know... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.